It's not a food court, and it's definitely not a food truck. It's the next big craze on the Baltimore eating scene, food halls. You can wander this space and have uh, you know, lots of taste, lots of foods, and uh, lots of fun. At the Mount Vernon Marketplace, it's as much about the food as it is engaging with the neighborhood. So it's meant to be more of a casual place. Right? Yeah, this is supposed to be a, a fun place to be in and to enjoy yourself and not to be a formal restaurant. Come and have fun. For the vendors, it's about fun, but it's also about feeding customers and feeding off of each other. The idea is that customers will be able to come in, look at a wide variety, and maybe grab food from one spot and grab a drink from another. But just a way for us to, you know, come together and, and show what we're about. You don't want to step on each other's toes, but it's awesome because they're so willing to work with you that, you know, it's you can't beat that. It's a sense of team that makes their creations more genuine. Ted, as he's known, is from Eritrea, Northeast Africa, and he says the products can even be used to teach. Through food, you could definitely learn our culture, so that's one of the things that drive us to take this opportunity. And being our first location, this was just a perfect fit for us. The Mount Vernon Marketplace is hardly on its own, with other food halls in Remington and Hamden expected to open in 2016. But with each location comes new culture and collaboration. Personified at 520 Park Avenue. It's just awesome. Overwhelming, but awesome. <laughs> From Mount Vernon, Omar Jimenez, WBAL, TV 11 News.